All right, guys, so this video is going to be basically on um, how I make shea butter mixed with sea moss. So um, I actually already, as you can see with my blender, I already blended some up already, but this is going to be a different recipe. So the client that I made it for, this is the container here, and um, she wanted a really, really big container, about like 20 ounces. So that is already made, but this one over here is just the shea butter, um, vitamin E oil, and the sea moss. So the one that I'm gonna make now, is gonna be more of a smoother consistency. So I'm gonna tell you the ingredients that I'm gonna put into that one. So um, first we're gonna start off with and by the way, before I start, um, I do not uh, measure any of my products because, I mean, I just eyeball it. I just know how much goes in it. So I'm sorry if I do not put um, how much I put in there. I'm so, so sorry. I just, I mean, I just don't make my products that way. That's what I prefer. Just like back in the day, you know, old school, you know, grandmas, they just eyeball it. So that's how I make my products. And I just know how much goes in here. Anyways, so we're going to start off with um, the shea butter. We're going to put that in there. Now, as you can see, this shea butter is not super, super thick. And that's because I, at first... Put it, um, I use a double boiler and I boiled it down just a little bit um, just to get it not so thick because organic unrefined shea butter is super, super thick. Now, so you can put it under a double boiler and I would say for like 30 minutes, um, not 30 minutes, about, do it for about a minute and put it under a double boiler and it will kind of soften up a little bit. So the next ingredient I'm going to put is my um, coconut oil. Now, this is what I mean, the, why I didn't put, um, and my client before, I didn't put coconut oil because she does not like coconut oil. Um, she didn't want it in there. She wanted it very, very, you know, organic and pure. Um, so I like to put coconut oil into my shea butter mixtures because it makes it a smoother consistency. And that's why I put it in there. Shea butter is very, very potent. And um, even the smell is very potent. And I just mix it with coconut oil just to get it a little bit smoother. All right. So I'm gonna show you guys so far what it looks like. So that's what it looks like so far. So next we are going to add some vitamin E oil. This is the vitamin E oil that I sometimes use. Um, it's 100% natural, okay? Um, I like to use vitamin E oil because uh, for shelf life purposes, uh, it lasts it lasts a lot longer. So, like I said, I don't measure, so I'm gonna put a cap full here of vitamin E oil. Okay, so this will make it um, where your shea butter is not gonna create it's not gonna create mold. I remember when I first started making shea butter back in 2015. Um, I couldn't figure out why it was creating mold after like a week. And I did my research and vitamin E oil prevents a lot of products from going bad. So as you can see, it's getting to be a lot smoother. Okay. So then I'm going to add the patchouli scent. Yeah, my patchouli is is kind of like messy right now. 
And that is because I use it in a lot of my soaps. Actually, all, mostly all of my soaps I use it. So I'm gonna add patchouli oil in here. And I love how patchouli smells. And it's just so, the shea butter is not, um, doesn't smell that potent smell of shea butter. So this is what it looks like so far, okay? So I'm gonna stir everything together first before I blend it up. And the sea moss that I have, as you can see, it's like a little purplish color, is because I added um, elderberry, elder, elderberry into it. <laughs> um, and that's because I like the properties of elderberry as well. Um, you can also ingest, um, take by mouth, um, sea moss. And elderberry is good for colds and flus and things like that. So, now we are going to whip the shea butter. <laughs> have to whip this that long so this is what it looks like after I whipped it and you can see the sea moss chunks those little specks that's the sea moss in there. So I'm gonna get my containers. And get the excess shea butter off my hand. I like to spray them with alcohol to wipe them clean. And even after, I'll probably spray them again, the outside. So. These are four ounce containers. They're plastic. Um, I ordered these from Amazon. I'm gonna try to fill them up as much as I can. All right, and that's about it. That's my shea butter. All right. Action like that. Now for my 20 ounce jar that I made earlier today. I 
already sprayed it down with alcohol already. So this is a 20 ounce jar. So as you see, this one is a little bit more solid. So I can put as much as I can. I try to like really put as much on the outside of the wall area area of the container. And then after this is done, I'll put my labels on it. So I don't know if I explained earlier today with you guys, but um, so shea butter is good for if you have like eczema, if you have psoriasis. Also, um, it's safe for children as well. Um, also, if you have dry, brittle hair, you can use shea butter. That's actually how I discovered shea butter because I made some for my daughter. She has like really, uh, she has 4C hair and it's really, really dry. So, I was looking for something natural I could put on her hair and I discovered the shea butter and then I created my own, created my own, um, you know, my own recipe and it actually grew her hair a lot and started using it on my skin as well. I don't have to use lotion. So it can be used for dry, brittle hair as well. Now, sea moss has, so your body needs 102 minerals in it. Well, sea moss has 92 of those 102 minerals that your body needs. Um, sea moss is great for your skin as well. It has a lot of great properties to sea moss. Um, it gives you a lot of energy. Uh, for men, and this is like when you ingest it, for men it helps with, um, you know, if you suffer from erectile dysfunction, things like that. That's if you take it, ingest it. Um, I found it to help with, and this is my own experience with, um, with depression, like those depression symptoms where you feel kind of like you know, low energy, things like that. I found it to help with that. Um, yes, and it does give you a lot of energy. So if you're a person that you're trying to quit coffee, if you just have a spoonful of sea uh, moss in the morning, it will give you energy. Um, elderberry is good for fighting the cold or the common, the common cold or flu. And that's how I normally make mine. And the type of sea moss that I use is the Irish sea moss. And that's what I use. There's also a video on my page showing you how I make my elderberry sea moss. So that is it for that. That is completely full. And I can Put a lid on that.
So yeah, if you have any questions, put your comments below. Like, share, and subscribe. And um, I'm going to try to do more videos on the products that I make here. All right, you guys have a good day.